I really am out of intro, so I'm just gonna do whatever that comes to mind, and yeah, you, be you best believe that's gonna be random. Today we're gonna have good work, and we are gonna have something quite interesting, I would say. We're up against the Russians, and one thing we do know about Russia, they're really good tasting biscuits. I'm not gonna let my sleep deprivation stand in the way of more depression with Epic 7 RNG. So here's the first thing about Chloe the Bird. Chloe the Bird sounds so cute by the way. Yeah, she's gonna bird the asshole and we are gonna TM Luluka the army and he can't do shit. Just in case, if this guy dream blades me. We have Alina, I mean the forehead. Yo, she's still level 59. It took me two months to bring her from level 57 to 59. And don't ask me why 59. I'm just, it's just there to trigger people. And yeah, if I don't kill him, I can still Alina invincibility, potentially lap um, all of them twice with Diabolica, hopefully we, ha we can have DS3 up again. She's also now on portrait and second team. Here is our spotlight for the day. It is going to be the other unit with the forehead covered by a lot of bangs. She got a buff, so this can not only destroy a single target, she splashes and dances on the other units as well, so they will take damage as well. She's now on Ubersus 2, just so we can get you know, triple splash proc. It's just for the aesthetics, really. And yeah, before anyone goes ham thinking about Auxiliar Loss being in, in the wrong position, she does not, he does not, I just said she, he does not have um, imprints. And I think we're ready, so here we go. I'm actually really excited about Little Queen Charlotte because I want to use her. She's a kid. What more um, reasons do you need? So right now, my bird will do a bird. All right, so we land everything, and now summon by the da, and here we go. There's a dead RB, which is a very lovely RB, I would say. Now we have Alina to protect ourselves for a turn. The forehead at level 59. If only I can get her to level 69. Now we have DN, which is about to be dead, and Lily is about to be Lily Aston. Ah! All right, now we just need to kill all of them. All right, the provoke goes on the bird. The bird does not care because my forehead has my bird's back, dude. My forehead's hard. And they are out of buffs, which means we can molest them. Get him, eagle! Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. The geometry face is down. Triangle face, more like dead. And it's not even a joke, but right now it's one in the morning, so don't expect good jokes from me. All right, so the end is dead. And that is the first round done, but the main point we're here is to see how this blonde kid performs. She has quite a bit of attack, I would say. So we're gonna soul burn this, and we are going to spend the soul burn on ML Ken. And this should kill ML Ken like 32 times over because there's no worries. <laughs> you know that's oh, that, oh my god. Holy shit, dude! That is good. That, that, that is good, dude. This might just kill if I probably Uber this too, though. <laughs> Holy shit! She's like Judge Kise without the booms. With Judge Kise, you S2, S3, kills everything. With little kid Charlotte, you do S3, kill one violently, and then kill another with S1. That splash damage was insane, though. That did like 7.7k? Was, was that? the case on that Caesarado, which is pretty bad. I would say my main calling today is to find a Rylant and destroy him with LQC. All right, here we go. We're gonna make this an ML Ken thing as well. My ML Ken is actually pretty okay, I would say. This is an ER ML Ken, and as you can expect, if it's ER ML Ken, he's not gonna have a lot of other stats, but I still think we're getting there. If I have SSO Simpich, he's gonna be there. But right now, I have Shimada's staff on Rowana, so it brings him to like around 130 ER, which should be more than enough to get, to, to deal with like a, a potential Bologna and Arby. So yeah, ML can debut. Everyone has AoE, Make Chloe's gonna hit him. She's just not gonna work in today's meta. Second team, we're all here for this. The idea is to burn the crowd. My kid will dunk on the crowd and we'll splash on the Caesarado. And with the Soul Ring, we're gonna get another, another turn and we're gonna bonk on that Caesarado. So yeah, it should work. We're up against Pacquiao. And I swear to God, that is like the boxer's name. All right, so really quick Make Chloe, jeez. Well, yeah, it's, it's decent liquid, 220 maybe? But yeah, I think we should be fine. If that's a fast RB, what do we know about fast RB? They are not a fast food restaurant. Well, I don't know, it might might go incredibly wrong. So here we go, and it's an 8k Vildred. That means that's a dead Vildred. He comes back, but that's not his passive, so we're still fine, because now we have revive on everyone. So we have revive, we're good. And it's a 9.8k Bologna. <laughs> 
So that means it's about to die. Right, we hit on the counter, and we did resist, but then again, we have immunity, so it kinda doesn't matter. ERML Karen is doing, it's, it's doing bits, trust. So now we're gonna dunk, and we do have 49 crit rate. Yeah, me just banking on that. And that kills the mate Chloe, holy shit. We're gonna touch him, hopefully kill him. Ah. Alright, now this procs, which gives Rowana the push, and I think we can get the turn with Rowana and kill the army. I definitely calculated this. He comes back, no baguette. An RB without baguette is basically Hell's Kitchen material. That shit about to get shut down by Gordon Ramsay, dude. It was a good restaurant. Is it a fast food chain or a restaurant? I, I talk like I've been to Arby, but I never had Arby. I didn't even know it was a restaurant until like a few months ago. Oh, you did defense break me. Shit. Your one job, ERML Ken. Well, well, so that's a dead sea sign now. Ha! We're just gonna burn this guy. There's no way you're resisting this. There we go. Now, soul. I mean, not soul burn. I'm gonna push the kid from the back with a shoulder. And we're gonna soul burn the kid's clothes. I mean, burn the kid's soul. And we're gonna dunk the S3 onto the blonde adult. And we're gonna crit. And <laughs> that's a dead crowd. And the splash? Where the fuck? I forgot. It only works if it's a dark hero. Shit! Oh no, 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 no. I still think we have this. Oh, we have this, dude. You're not killing me, dude. Right, so I'm just gonna get rid of your um, skill now. And you're gonna do S3. I think we should be fine. Because we still have the crit damage reduction on LQC, actually. Alright, now we're gonna do this. And LQC should take a turn here. No. Ah. Uh, well, we're gonna boost you. And you're gonna... new Get him! <laughs> Alright, that was a slight mishap. <laughs> I, I forgot I had to target a dark element hero if I want to splash. But you know what? I think we can do it again. And actually kill her. Well, it's not gonna be about the splash. It's just gonna be about raw damage this time. Like this. Watch, dude. We're gonna boost you, and that is the dead FCC, 100 to 0, dude. <laughs> I'm glad I'm a lolly enthusiast, because this kid is breaking the charts. I don't know if she broke any charts, but she definitely broke some chests. Find a snakey, kiss the main, spank, hey, fumbles. There's a lot of May Chloe's in this guild war, I'm not sure what to feel about that. Oh, 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 oh! I found my arch enemy. All right, there's a lot of new heroes today to debut, but <laughs> it could easily be split into three separate videos, but I'm gonna put them in one and then still make the other three videos. All right, so first team, I have no idea what I'm doing, but stuff's happening and I think it will work. <laughs> TM Luluka should have speed. I have four speed difference between Luluka and Oxlot. But yeah, I'm gonna have speed, trust. So she outspeeds S2. Selene will target one with the highest attack which will be Tia Luluka because she's self-attack buff. And when that happens, she dies. So we're gonna off-slots into little kid Charlotte, and we're gonna solve an S3, kill that um, Rylan. With the splash damage, we're gonna kill Celine or Euphine. We're, not, we're probably not gonna kill them, but with the S1 to follow up, we should be able to kill Celine maybe? And we should be able to get rid of this girl quite easily. That is all assuming if I kill Rylan, but I do have a versus tooth though. Second team, Cernia, little debut I guess? I was contemplating doing the um, Rocky Shredder thing again, but I feel like this girl has immunity. Ah yes, <laughs> the best event, dude. We're gonna Chloe the Landy and then Cernia the Landy. We probably don't even need the defense break, we're, we're gonna do it because we fucking can. And we do have the lolly rider crowd, and he has a plus 9 chest please. But it doesn't matter, he's just there for the immunity. Let's go. And all according to plan, we're going to self buff and commit suicide. And this should kill, it might not even kill actually. It actually did not <laughs> Hello? Well then. Well then, I'll just kill off Huffine. I swear if it's a counter Huffine, I will actually kiss my sister. Alright, so now we're gonna boost Charlotte. This would decide if I'm gonna make a video called Rada is Cancel, where I nuke 100 Rada's with LQC. I hope I miss, just to see if I can kill, even if I miss. And I did miss, I think I still kill anyway. Ah 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 oh, dude, yo, look at that. Oh. How's that for splash damage? I know you're here to play with some water at the beach, you know, splashing water and stuff in the sea, but today we're all about splashing water from a kid. Right, so that's a dead ant. And that is a dead seaside. And that is a winning kid. 
All right, so here we are going to bird the land. It doesn't matter if she has once onto the bird. I think my bird is sturdy enough to take any landies. And we actually didn't hit the defense break, but <laughs> Serbia doesn't need that crud. And that Tanibra actually outsped my freaking chestless Bully Rider crowd. But you know what? We're, we're gonna be fine, dude. And in before no crud. Oh, <laughs> I love you. If she's a little bit shorter, she's basically a lolly. So yeah, I'm all in for that. Get what I mean? I'm all in. <laughs> Serbia skill set all in, dude. When you have to explain your joke, you know that joke is not good. But we're all about not good jokes. Yeah, it is called all in. How about that? These two are molded, but not the S1. But I think we should still kill. It's greater attack, dude. They're not, they're not surviving that. Dude, Sermia. i never gotten her, like, <laughs> until two... Like, like two weeks ago. And yeah, dude, I've been missing out on the fun, jeez. If I had the S1 EE, it has a specific chance to proc S1 again. Oh my god, it'd be so fun. Now, yeah, I'm gonna show my stats now. I'll try to keep this concise because people might, you know, already seen my stats before. But nonetheless, this is a new one, so I'll just show you a little bit longer. It's 81 crit chance. That's the only weakness. The other stuff are... <laughs> Pretty on point, so yeah, I gotta get that crit rate up. This is Lulika, and this is my LQC. Attack set with a lot of attack flat sets as well. <laughs> attack flat here, and a couple of attack flat here. And yeah, actually I say a lot, but that's about the only two that has flat attack. And we do have Ubers too, I would most rather have Hellcutter. But I think in my setup with Auxiliary Lots into her, it doesn't really matter if I do... Uh, Hellcutter because it's only gonna be two turns. This is my ERML Ken. Still missing the Reforge on this, but I think I'll hold on to the Reforge, although this is actually pretty decent. Here's my bird. Alright, I think we're gonna finish this with a little bit of arena fight. So yeah, if this works, I'm going to dedicate a video for Rylan. So we're gonna Soulburn here, we don't really need it, but we're gonna do it because we can. And yeah, this should kill him, even on a miss I should. So we're gonna do it, and let's see the splash, can we at least take out the barrier? I think we can, and that did 10k! Oh my god, oh my god, dude! dude. Right? Lesson number one, do not put Aureus if I'm using LQC on your Rylet and the bird. So I can use her in any Aureus comp, I guarantee the double kill because the splash damage as well, with the damage sharing onto a very squishy unit. So yeah, it's gonna be mad, and this will kill Boom, dude! And I do hit. It's 11k on the first frame. That's a dead. That's a dead FCC. What? Dead FCC. There we go. Boom. Now, greater attack on Serbia. It's it's the generation of single attacks. Tank buzz that shit. Crit and he. Oh, oh, dude. This is so fun. Damn, this is too fun. Dude, I'm actually I'm contemplating doing it again because it's it's that fun dude. and everyone's using dark units so it's so good. So we're gonna bring up LQC. I think we can actually just kill off the FCC even without the Sorbent into S1. We'll see though. We hit. But then again, they have Warriors Adam and Shield, so it's not that easy. Yep, only tank it on the first frame, so it won't kill off that FCC. It sure did kill half of her. <laughs> right, so you're dead. <laughs> Yeah, you can laugh and act smug, but you know what? The reality is you're fucked. I'm actually gonna try one more. We're gonna sober this. It should kill the FCC if they're that quick, I think, because... Yeah. Alright, it's not gonna kill, but you know what? We're gonna get really close and... <laughs> How much was that? How much was that on that T-Surin? I didn't say shit. Alright, so if Serbia takes a turn, you're dead. Oh, and she got... She gonna take a turn. This is ridiculous, dude. Alright, so final verdict, I guess, on LQC. Very insanely fun. <laughs> 4.3k, uh, 4.4, let's, let's just round that up. 4.4k attack with attack buff. Does around 7k, 8k-ish splash damage on everyone else. I think it should be really fun, but we can never be sure if she will be amazing in RTA until RTA comes back. But what I personally think, I might run her with a different build in, um, the, in future videos. Perhaps a speedy bruiser-ish build if I attack. If a bruiser version of LQC could work, I think she will be pretty common in RTA. You have a Sermia as well, you best believe I'm gonna make another video on her because, yo, she's fun. And yeah, about fodder and stuff, I will make one. <laughs> At least during this free I will make one count. It's gonna be good. 
So yeah, look forward to that though. That is all from me today. I have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.